guys, it's Meredith. Welcome back. And I am here today to talk about the Fab Five. You heard me, the Fab Five. This is a face that I can do with five products. You heard me, five products. What products, you ask? Um, we are going to use concealer. We are going to use bronzer, setting powder, mascara, and of course, enduring lip color. So we are going to do a full face with those five products. So let's get started. All right, I have um, prepped my face already with a uh, moisturizer. Okay, and um, you know, if that's part of a skincare routine, I strongly advise you uh, use some type of skincare regimen to keep your skin looking its best. Um, the key to having great makeup is actually having great skin. If you, if your skincare routine is lacking, um, if your skin isn't hydrated, your makeup is never going to look uh, the way it should. So, first and foremost, take care of your skin. So I have uh, prepped my skin with Skin Therapist, which is, um, again, the moisturizer from Limelight by Alcohol that um, I use. Uh, I also use, if you're a Calm Balm person, you can use that as well. I use both, actually. So I've prepped with a uh, Skin Therapist, so my skin is nice and moisturized. We are going to go in. I am actually going to use, so these are four shades of our concealer. This is Zero, which is our lightest concealer. Gosh, I can't talk today. Um, this is one. This is a greenish color correcting shade. This is two. This is three. Um, I'm actually going to go in with concealer three. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in just with the back. Actually, I'm going to use a different brush. It doesn't really matter, but the back of a brush. And I'm going to scrape out the tiniest bit. Can you guys see that? And that's probably, um, probably more than enough if not too much. So I'm going to just get that on the back of my hand, if I can get that on the back of my hand, and I'm going to warm it up. Okay, this is a wax-based product, so uh, your body heat is going to warm that up. So see, it's warming up, and I'm going to go in, um, I actually have a few blemishes right now, so I'm going to start concentrating um, where my blemishes are and where the things are I want to cover and then I'm going to work I have some acne scars those are getting better with our Sotox um, but still so I am just literally as you can see just rubbing this concealer all into my skin. So you want to get pretty much everywhere. And then I have a damp uh, blenderful. Okay, this is our blending sponge. This is damp. Um, I get it wet, I wring it out. Okay, and I'm actually gonna use a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to use that, and I'm literally just bouncing it all over my face to blend the product in. So we're going to do this once, and then we'll go back and see um, where I might need more product. And again, this is a quick, a quick look. Um, a good look if you have just a few minutes in the morning and you just, you know, want to get something. You don't want to go out bare-faced. So I'm actually going to scrape a little bit of product that I have left on my hand onto my blenderful and then use it. So already, already you can see that it's covered up my redness. I tend to have red skin. It's covered up my redness. It's covered up my blemish. You can still see the bump. You can't get rid of the bump, unfortunately. I wish you could get rid of the bump, but you can't. Okay, so now I am going to take concealer brush. 
I'm going to go back in that same shade. Okay. And I'm going to make um, a V down my face. And kind of fill it in. Get a little more. Get on the right side, right? Well, I don't know what my light is doing. Okay. Now I am going to go back in. And if you don't have really dark circles um, or bags under your eyes, you don't have to. You don't have to do that step. I, however, am a mom of three. So I need to do that step. Especially, especially today. It's kind of been one of those days. And you moms out there will know just what I'm saying. Okay. So you want to make sure you're blending that out. Okay. All right. So concealer. It is, and I'm going to just look kind of up to that little mirror is hard to say. Okay. Concealer is done. I actually am going to go in with the same damp blenderful. I'm going to go into the setting powder and I'm really going to I'm gonna get a lot on there okay I really especially under my eyes I really 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 want to set that concealer right I don't want it creasing I don't want it going anywhere this powder is translucent so it's not imparting any color anywhere it's just setting your makeup um, if you have oily skin tendencies, you definitely want to do this, um, especially in your T-zone or in the areas where you are oily. And again, I'm getting quite a bit of powder on there. You can always, and I mean you're seeing it there because I'm really depositing it, but you can go back in with a fluffy brush and brush it off with a powder brush if you need to. Okay. All right. So that is set. All right. Now we are going to go on and we are going to um, go into the bronzer. Okay. And we're going to do a couple things with this bronzer. First, we're going to start with an angled brush. Okay. I'm going to dip into the bronzer, tab it off. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of definition to my face. Now, I'm not doing an all out contour. I just wanna give some definition to my cheekbones and some color. So I'm gonna start, um, I, I don't know, this part of your ear has to have a name. I have no idea what it is. But I'm gonna start right next to here, right next to the temple, okay? I'm gonna kind of focus it there and I'm gonna go down um, towards, towards my mouth, maybe about, eh, about two thirds of the way, okay? So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go down. Notice I'm stopping right about here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, never blow on your brushes. Tap them to get rid of excess powder, but don't blow on them, you're just getting germs. So again, I'm gonna start next to this little knobby part of my ear and I'm gonna go to about here. I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna go down. Okay, and you see how that is giving some definition. I'm going to then go back in with a fluffier brush, a more pointed brush. Um, again, get rid of the product, get, or not get rid of the product, get some of the excess product off. And just kind of go over that, okay? If you feel like it's too much and you need to blend it out, you can do that with a powder brush. And see, and you kind of diffuse it. 
Um, and if you really felt like you had too much product on, you can always go back in with your blender full, okay? And notice I didn't even have to put any concealer back on this. I just am going back over it, okay? I want a little bit more, so we're gonna go back in. And you see how that's already giving some definition to my face. See that? Okay. The next thing we're going to do with the bronzer, and this is probably one of my favorite tricks, especially if I'm going somewhere and like I have to pack light, I am going to use the bronzer as an eyeshadow. So I have an all over just eyeshadow brush. Okay. And I'm just going to go lightly over my lids in a little bit. I have hooded eyes, so I'm going to go slightly above my arch, above my arch, above my crease. Just because of the way um, my eyes are hooded. Okay, and then I'm going to just go back in with just a fluffy dry blending brush and just kind of blend that out make it a little bit softer you can also okay you can also take um this is our smoky liner okay and this brush is amazing for going under your eyes and for the inner corner. So I just went in the bronzer and I'm literally running it along my bottom lid just to give a little bit of color along that lower lash line. Okay? All right. So, we have used concealer, we have used um, translucent Perfect Press Powder, we have used Perfect Bronzer. Those are three products. The next thing we are going to use is Enduring Lip Color in Macaroon. And we're going to use this in two different ways. And again, this is all about the multi-use of these products tonight, okay? So, I am going to get some of this out, and I'm going to... Put it on my hand, okay? Put the wand back in. A little bit goes a long way here, ladies. I'm gonna get a little bit on my finger. And then you're looking here for the apples of your cheeks. And you're just going to tap lightly. We're gonna go back in and blend. If you can't find the apples of your cheeks, And there you're finding the apples of your cheeks. Get it on. You can go back in with your finger. You can go back in with your blender full, okay? And kind of blend that out. But you see it's given a little bit of blush, a little bit of color to my cheeks. See how that works? You can, if you want it to go a little bit up, Further up the cheek line, the jawline, the cheekbone, gosh, if I could think of the word I want to use, you can do that too. And again, you can go in with a brush. You can go back in with your fingers. However you want to get that. Did you see? Okay. Now we are going to use this. I'm going to get a wipe. Where's my wipe? Wipe off my hand. Now we are going to use the Enduring Lip Color as it is intended, right? We're going to use it on our lips. And a little bit goes a long way with this. So notice I've taken it out and I am scraping most of the product off. I know everybody's like, why are you doing that? Ah! No, a little bit goes a long, long way. The thinner it is, the longer it's actually going to last, okay? So you can do a lip brush. I'm just going to use this, uh, the applicator. I think that's just as easy. OK. 
Okay. Make sure when you're doing your lips that you get the corners. So many times people stop and then you open your mouth to talk and you have like white, like, um, you know, white marks along the insides of your lips. Okay. Lips done. Last of our five products can't be without is mascara. This is on um, Limelight Balcon's Perfect Mascara. It's a one-step fiber mascara. Okay. Fibers in the product, one step. No kind of crazy anything. Literally watch as my lashes are transformed with a single coat. And I have to use a mirror. It is so hard to put makeup on into a camera. And I am just going to put one coat on. Because again, this is a simple look. Right, this isn't anything dramatic. This is a quick five products. Really, you could do this in five minutes. It's taking me longer because I'm talking, chatting with you. And you can do the bottom lash line. I normally don't. Do you see a difference? Do you see how my lashes are instantly fuller, instantly thicker? Love, love, love this product okay so that's one eye I'm gonna go back in twirl your mascara ladies do not pump it pumping it adds air to your mascara it makes it dry out it adds bacteria it is I'll move this over to the side so you can see what I'm doing it is not good to pump your mascara always twirl it And I like to start at the bottom of my lashes and kind of shimmy my way up. Right? If you make an oops, right, and you get mascara um, on your lid, on your the bridge of your nose, whatever, don't freak out. You can take care of it. You can go back in with some concealer and you're all set. So, I just got mascara all over my enduring lip color, which does not make me happy. But here you have it, a quick five minute look using five products. So let's review the products we used. We used, for my skin tone, we used Concealer 3, okay? So we used the, per, the um, Waterproof Concealer in shade 3. We used, the Perfect Press Powder, it's a translucent powder. We used the Perfect Bronzer. We used Enduring Lip Color in Macaroon. And we used the Perfect Mascara. So there you have it, five products. You could do it in five minutes. Um, five products, a grick, five minute face. All right, I hope everybody has a fantastic week and I will see you again next Friday. Um, again, my name is Meredith and I am a lead director here at Limelight by Alcone. Um, if you need more interest, information on any of these products used. Um, they are all in the description as well as uh, the way to contact me. So I hope everybody has a great day. If you like what you've seen, please um, subscribe and comment below. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.